this. Yeah, there. Now you can see me. Just watch the stream. Hi! I'm on the stream. I, said, I don't see the picture. I just still see the little guy from... No, don't you pull my things down. No. <laughs> so, um, I haven't heard from any of the, uh, other than Caesar, any of the other players, so... Well, Lorraine of uh, Loam, she she was like, what time is it at? I'm like, it's at one. Remember, that's what the email says. So I sent her the email. Let's see. Taylor is the other one. I don't know what her. I think it's Mockingbird. Let me yeah, I've got their her. names, but I, I don't know how to get in touch with them. Well, here we go. Let's see. Cell phone. Okay. Mockingbird GT, the, Decept the Decepticon is actually one of the ones in here, so I can ping. Yeah, I don't know them. We've got game in a, less than a half hour. Where are you? Oh, it's only two heads. Give me a break. <laughs> and that's where we'll pick it up next week. <laughs> you gonna fuss? You, if you can't, you're gonna kick everything. Uh, next week? Yeah. Week after your own? Yeah, you week after your uh, week after your own. That's so funny. Oh, and Gorgio's getting ready to raid me. <laughs> oh. I told him to raid me. I want your people. Just come over and we'll see if we can hold on to him for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the stream going. Oh, we're live. So your oh, voice geez. is on stream. Oh, if they get to see me as a Lala. Wonderful. Well, no, your camera, your cameras aren't on. There's no camera. Oh. Just your voice. Oh, just my voice? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. Only whoever you're showing the camera to in Discord can see. No, no other cameras but mine on the stream. So you guys can be oh, okay. naked or whatever. <laughs> no, we're definitely not naked. I meant naked babies, on. naked dogs, naked, <laughs> naked kids. Madakira had to blur my stream the other day. Madakira's son came in drying himself off with a towel behind oh, him. Chroma Camp caught hilarious. most of it, but not all of it. So I learned how to blur. It was kind of neat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've got to learn how to do all those yeah. cool things because I will start streaming eventually. But, all right, uh, yeah, so this is where we will end in. So the table's up if you want to hop on the table and get your character. Oh, awesome. I already made your character a rogue half-elf. I just kind of threw something together for you. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> Hang the phone up on you. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> Don't worry about Warhorn. You're coming on Fantasy Grounds and you're going into Drake's stream. Um, the squirrel is. <laughs> She's trying to get through Warhorn to get there. Oh, that's so funny. Well, there is my Discord invite on the Warhorn discussion. He's hanging out at the portal. You, did you want to send her an invite to my Discord? Sure. What's her... Well, can I even... Oh, here. I will give you her name on here. That would make life easier. Alright. Uh, so, yes. And the uh, other plan is... He was... Okay, I need. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you loams first. There you go. You can send you that to, to her too. Her the link. I sent you the link, so if I can't send her the link, then then you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you know who she is? Uh, copy link. I know, that's exciting. You don't see yourself anymore, so that made you sad. No, that made you sad. I'm sorry. Here we go. Go on Discord. Okay. That's the oh, first there she thing. is. All right, so let me give her. Okay, that's I'm giving her the yeah, I'm trying role. to get So now she can move into. The, there she is. She's there. She did it. Yay. Which one? Loam? Now she just got to get her headset on. <laughs> um, so on that note, um, we will end 
here, and um, actually we have... I've got way uh, too many Discord channels to go through to figure out where yours is. There it is. Yeah, that's Loam. Uh, so hopefully <laughs> Mockingbird saw the invite to the Discord channel. Oops. That could get dangerous. <laughs> We're already live for voice. Just yeah, we're, we're yakking to whoever's in the stream that's like okay. us and maybe I and Gorgio's you the guys in, in a one second. Of our chats. Oh, there's Mockingbird. Let me give her a roll real quick. Okay. Awesome. And she now can get down and voice. Woohoo! Okay. And now I just need to join which campaign you're in. <laughs> you, you go for a one shot and you're still organizing it. That's just, that's just, that's the way it is. Okay. Do, I didn't get no raid notification yet. I don't see nobody raiding. What the heck? So now we'll just need the. Um, the information for the table should be in the chat uh, somewhere. Um, here. I just got raided. Ooh. Peoples. Oops. What's Peoples. up, everybody? Hey, young Gorgio. Um, we're just getting our table set up and people coming over. So I got chores, so I'll be tending to those, but... Uh, uh, here, I'll post it in Schult chat there. There's a, the IP address and the password in dis Discord there for for those that are on the table. Lom, I haven't heard you yet. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. And uh, I, I pinged two other players, see if we can get them coming this way. But uh, what's up at Gorgio? Yeah, well, I'm getting ready to do uh, the, the Goblin... Uh, encounter in Lost Minds of Fandelver. Dave loved running that, so I figured uh, I'll run a one shot with some with some Fantasy Grounds people. So, <laughs> yeah, are you guys able to get on the table? Like, oh okay. yeah, I see uh, Lom is connected. Lom, did you have a character in mind? Oh my God. When, when you tell somebody not to text back, and they do. <laughs> um, Don't text we're back. We're using pre-made, correct? Okay, yeah, I got some in the combat tracker and on the table okay. ready it's to go. Opening. Hold on. Thank you. Well, I, don't, I couldn't remember if you asked, because on Warforge or whatever it's called, they, you can, uh, I guess, yeah, kind of sure say what you wanted to play. It doesn't matter. I don't usually play Magic users. Bell said she wanted to play a rogue. Caesar said he wanted to play a ranger. Mockingbird wanted Oops. to play a druid. So there's a there's a, a gnome, bard, a barbarian half orc. Yeah, that's usually what I left. And a wizard. You said you didn't want to play a wizard. No, Barbarian sounds good. Barbarian half work? I wasn't getting my Serenscape to work yesterday. Uh, you had to um, switch servers? Because uh, I don't know what happened, but let me see if I can find that information. Because we had to do the same okay. thing last night. Okay, I've never used an IP address to connect to a game before. So you just put that in where it says IP address, I think. Correct, and then you at the bottom oh, right, is. and then hit enter, and then it'll have to tell you you don't have the right password. And put that in. <laughs> oh, I'm a dude. Can I be a chick? I'll just be a guy. So. Okay. 
preparing the list. We are acquiring a list. I got two players. players. Got two players connected to the table. Yeah, I only need two more and we can play. All right. But, and uh, and we got uh, the Mockingbird on the Discord server. Okay. Down here. Smiley face. Where do I go to load whenever I need to load? Uh, Did for you what? Find your her character? The... No, for any of the books or anything. Um. You should know. I mean, just for a one shot. I don't. I don't know if you need to load anything or not. Let's let's just try getting a character going and see what happens. Because right, I pretty much built the character. Uh, let's see. The character selection screen. Um, the level uh, 003 level. Oh, you already, you already grabbed it. Mm -hmm. Look at you. So you can change your name to whatever you want. And uh, I, think, I think it's pretty ready to go. I mean, I didn't put your inventory in bags or, I mean, if you want to do some personality traits or whatever, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, I don't know how familiar you are with uh, Fantasy Grounds. Pretty familiar, but I just can't remember where to load the books. Oh, well, they're in the modules. So on the right tab, uh, it's a little, looks like file folders button. Oh, I see. Never mind. I got modules. It. And Belle, did you get your character? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna drag you two into the party sheet. No, this one there. Okay, I gotta find the. Oh, Where there it is. What? Where is she? She was asking if we could hear her, so. I don't know where Mockingbird has gone to. Hear her? <laughs> she's not on the she's not on the Discord server, so. You need to join the Discord server where I put a link in the chat in our. Yeah, she needs to go down to Damsel's Chult chat. Voice Chult Voice. And you'll go down to the place on that server that says Chult Voice. Not child voice. I love when it. <laughs> it's probably the only place she can. That's okay. My my cell phone when I do the little talk thing, sometimes it really messes up what I write. I did give her a roll, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Engorgio. I'm not paying attention, but get the ban hammer out. Nice. Oh, I was trying to put somebody in the party sheet, and I was having a brain cramp. What? What? Why isn't it working? Oh, because I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> well, Caesar's going to play that guy. You can change your character's name too. Doesn't have to be Mine. Bill Bill Marte. <laughs> Doesn't have to be Bill Marte. Well, it can be just Bill, but yeah. Well, however, you, you know, this makes it makes you happy. Because I'll, I'll never remember, anyways. I mean. Okay, like... so we have Mockingbird, so I can go. <laughs> it, you got to figure it out. I can't hear her. Might be on push to talk. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yay. I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. Hey, you did a good job. It's, you got here. That's what's important. Sometimes the GPS takes you around the wrong way, but uh, sometimes you, you get there. I like the antlers. 
<laughs> Thank you. So in the in in the jungles of Chult chat right there, uh, there's the IP address and the password to get on my fantasy grounds table. Shh, it's secret stuff. Okay. Hey, uh, and Gorgio, if you can hear me, call Caesar, tell him to wake up or whatever. I don't have his phone number. <laughs> he signed up. I don't think I have his number. Oh, you're calling him awesome. See, that's what's oh, nice. nice about having the Fantasy Grounds community, too. You, you get to know people, and you can just call player on a different table by talking to the stream. <laughs> like when you go into your thing and change your portrait. Because you got community portraits. Yeah, you can change all that. It does not matter. How are you working, Mockingbird? Are you, I don't see you connecting. Are you are you lost? Yes. Um. So I see the IP address and the password. If you put the but, IP at the bottom right under IP. But I don't see that on Fantasy Grounds. You I'm share, hitting join game. You want to share your screen in Discord? Maybe we can... How do I do that? Uh, see down at the bottom, it says screen, share your screen. Okay, you know that place where you would put in which which GM you were looking for? If you look at the bottom right, there's a little thing that says IP address, and that's where you put it in. You see it? Maybe I'm on the wrong one. Hold on, hold on, oh, yeah. hold on. I love you guys, I'm sorry. It's okay. I thought it was at four. Why would somebody think it's at four? It never said, it's always, I even put in the oh, description. It's four. It was, I know, under, it was under the wrong time zone. Yeah, but I typed it in the, in the, I know, in the description of the thing. <laughs> One to three Eastern. I even went back and asked because it shows up on my calendar as four, because it's four, it's one yeah, to it's four in some other land. I know, but I <laughs> yesterday I was three hours early to my game because it's uh, in Pacific. And then, so I went and corrected my time zone and it moved yours to four. So I'm like, oh, well, I must have had the wrong time right now. That, that's why I put it in the title. I've been burned myself a few times going, oh, crap. It was Eastern or Pacific, not Eastern or whatever. And then one time it was... Eastern Australia or something. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Caesar's connecting. That's three players on the table. Oh, really? Mockingbird, are you, are you, are you, are you still frustrated? Can we help? Just a little bit. Okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on, wait. <laughs> you're on Unity, right? Not Classic. Yeah, you make sure you're on Unity. Yeah, I found the IP address location on okay, the new and then Fantasy Crown. Then it, once it does the one thing, it'll ask you for a password, and that's when you put that other password in that we and don't it, say out loud it, because we're on And it on, is a capital. That is a capital. What I think it does do? matter, I think. So I went to the grocery store, and I saw these, and I'm going to try one. What are these? Um, oh, I'm showing it in the camera. A mamba. You're a not fruit on oh, those are good. You're not on Discord camera. So yeah, yeah I no, can. he's on stream camera. I can't be on Discord camera because my stream camera doesn't like Discord. It's like, no, you can't have both. You can only have one or whatever. So, Oh, wow. This thing's like, there's like little boxes inside of a little box. It's like, what, what's the thing where the little people inside the little people? Oh, those are good. I, 
It's a little it's a little one inside of a big one. Oh, and there's like oh they're like they're like now later kind of things or something? Yeah, they're kind of, yeah. Taffy, toffee. I don't know if I'm gonna like these. It yeah, it's a too type hard. of taffy. Pull all my freaking fillings out. My dental work. Yeah, that's when you. Oh just no, they're not on. that hard. Yeah, they're not hard. Yeah, they're so softer than laffy taffy. It's all just they're one more flavor. Of a chew. Oh. oh, there's layers. Raspberry. Why do I have to get raspberry first? Because mm. that's the good flavor. Well, they're not in order on the wrapper because that should have been lemon. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Those are you are a food. lemon person? Dave was a lemon person. I like His lemon better than raspberry. He liked uh. lemon cookies and lemon pound cake. Mm. I'm not late. You're not. All right, Caesar. Yeah, everybody gets inspiration. Oh, you know what? I'm not seeing your characters because they're buried behind the character sheets over here. I gotta move them. Gotta See them? They're hiding. Just take them like this. Unlock them. Drag. Oops. No. Mockingbird, did you figure it out? The Warhorn thing had four I... to six p.m. GMT minus four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. That's why I put it's, in the description exactly what time. In the yeah, who reads descriptions, Drake? Yeah, I know. I mean, those people that don't know how to tell. Green which time from Eastern time or whatever, or even set it up in Warhorn to make it right, because I could have broke it too. I probably did. It's my fault. You're late. Oh, I was a minute early. <laughs> All right, you already have Thank a character. You, Chad. you see the Caesar Ranger? Yep, I got him. All right, I'm gonna put you in the party sheet. Oh, I already have you in the party sheet because I knew you were coming. Buy followers, primes, and viewers. I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you a dollar. You're gone. Oh, I get to go downstairs real quick while everyone's getting on the table because I got to fill up my water real quick. But you guys can go with me. Go with you. I'm mobile. I'm mobile. Yay, adventure. Yay. Yay. Have you, has, have you, I know some of you have played Lost Mines, but has anyone not played Lost Mines of Fandelver? Lost Mine of Fandelver? Sorry, there's only one. I don't think I have. Played a dwarf mining game on Xbox, though, before. Not quite the same, but. Uh... I'm currently DMing it. Yeah. Yeah, so the, you know how the uh, the goblin encounter could be uh, iffy <laughs> if the yeah. dice don't go right. So yeah. that's what we're gonna do. It's all or yeah. nothing here. If you guys die, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the goblins coming until I kill you. All. It's like a herd of them in the, hiding in the bushes. So uh, mine is still attempting direct connection to server. Are you on a potato? Do you have a potato for your internet connection? That's, I guess so. Jeez, I don't know what's going on. I have yeah. internet access. Yeah, I don't see you connected to the table yet. 20 sides, what's up? I had to go get a drink. And uh, and I'm back, and uh, we're getting the table rolling. We're getting players going. You know how one-shots are. Uh, just hanging out and lurking. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a... Just give Dave some love. And Gorgio, 300 biddies. Yay. Thank you. Belle's here with the baby, so I get to see the baby in Discord. Yeah. It's a cute baby. Thank you. I'm partial. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Caesar's I'm... here. Say hey, Caesar. Hey, For Caesar. People who don't know, I'm a Lala. La la. Yes, I don't like the I don't like the nana or grandma or yeah, so it's la la. Huh. A la la. I don't think is that is that is that like Italian or 
Portuguese or Lala? It is. It actually is Portuguese. Portuguese. Teletubbies. Which I am actually part. Uh, so... Decepticon. Did you get your character? Yep. Uh, Draco Dragonface. Draco Dragonface. Nice. I'm going to put you in the party sheet. Okay. Bam! We got four in the party sheet. That's enough to get rolling. Um, but uh, how are how are you making out, Mockingbird? What can I help? Can I? You want to come over and like kick the squirrel? I know, I know. Um, What's it say? What's it say? It's still attempting direct connection to server. Something seems weird. I could cancel it and try again. Yeah, why don't you make sure there's no space before the first IP address, and you know, clear that up. Make sure that's right. You know, there's not a like a blank seven three. That's my IP at the beginning of my IP address. There's more letters though, or numbers rather. So, I'm not gonna say it out on stream. So let's kind of get your character rolling. Uh, I could talk you through it. Uh, Mockingbird is a, is a druid, a half elf druid. I'm gonna put you in the party sheet, and uh, I may run you. I may run your character for you as you tell me what you're gonna do in Discord. We can we can do that too if you can't get on the table, but we're gonna have some fun. Are you guys ready? Absolutely. It's working now. Of it's loading. Course. All right, cool. So. <laughs> As, as some of you have played this this before, uh, you, your characters somehow know a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker. Somehow in your past, he's helped you, or he's friends of the family. Um, you got drunk at a bar together. We don't know where your characters know Gundren from, but uh, he has asked for your help. Uh, in the city of Neverwinter, he says, uh, Our past has come back, and I, I'm asking for some help uh, from my friends. You, uh, you might have helped me in the past, but today I'm willing to pay you uh, the ten gold pieces each. Uh, how does that sound? Uh, yes? Well, all you gotta do is take a wagon load of provisions down to the rough-and-tumble settlement of Phandalin. It's only a couple days' travel uh, southeast of Neverwinter. It's... It's, uh... It's something big I've got going down that way. Uh, it's, uh... It's worth a ten gold easily, just escorting some supplies to my friend down there, Barthen. He's got a provision store. It's it's a trading post in Fandolin. Mm, uh, my friend uh, Sildar here, all winter, uh, he, he and I uh, are, are getting a couple of horses, and we're we're heading out first thing is in the morning. We've got. Uh, We've got to take care of business. Uh, you know, there's there's some things that can't wait, and I need to be there right away. So that's why I'm hiring you to follow behind with these supplies. Uh, there's a wagon and some oxen that I'll have brought around for you. The, the supplies will be loaded on it already. I hope somebody here knows how to handle a couple of oxen. Yes? Anyone? I do. Oh, excellent, excellent. There's enough feed for several days, so no, not to worry about the oxen. Just make sure they have plenty of water, you know what I mean? It can get hot and on the road out to Fandolin. Of course, poor babies. So, uh, you guys can introduce your characters, if you like, to each other. Um, if, um, you know... Tell us what kind of character you're playing and what your name is and how familiar you are with Fantasy Grounds. And if you've gotten connected to the table yet. That's, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start off, Belle, go ahead. I am Belle. I am playing a half-elf rogue. I also have a little miniature me with me that's going to talk to us occasionally, too. <laughs> 
huge fan. I actually work for Fantasy Grounds. I'm familiar enough with playing. I have not DM'd yet, but that will happen eventually. Eventually is right, because it's so fun to DM. I love it. I love it. Um, Ada? Ada? Who's playing Ada? That's Mo. So I'm Ada. I am a half-orc barbarian. And I am very, I am familiar with Fantasy Grounds, maybe between beginner and intermediate, and I'm DMing tomorrow. (laughs) All right, nice. That'll be fabulous. Well, Fantasy Grounds is here to help you. It's not a, it doesn't, you can can dive into it as deep as you want. Some of us are way deep, like me. Uh, I got like 52 extensions, I think I'm running, so you you pretty much uh, are it's there's a lot but uh welcome thank you for being here uh caesar we know a little bit about you anyways right yeah you do caesar here um playing a um half elf ranger today named caesar um i've been doing uh fantasy grounds for uh, uh, quite a while you can catch me on tuesday nights on drake's channel um and uh i've dm'd a few games uh finished um water deep dragon heist for a group and um you know i I got into it because uh i was bored one day and found the digital dm on youtube and he was running lost minds of fendelver and i watched the whole series and got hooked so it's his fault i yeah i think one of the first yeah one of the first times i saw uh dave was he was running uh lost minds of fendelver so i'm like that guy's running it right look at this he's got a map that was awesome yeah uh, I went back, as a matter of fact, and looked at some of his early videos when he was on the other guys, and uh, and uh, he was still pretty funny. I mean, it was just Dave doing his thing, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I used to make sure I used to make sure my lunch break on Fridays was at noon, so I could watch uh, the uh, Fantasy Grounds talk, whatever it was he ran on Fridays. Yeah, the Fantasy Grounds Friday show for Spikeworks. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Draco. Draco. Draco? Uh, yeah. Uh, Not Draco. Not to be confused with Drake, so, you know, don't confuse right. us too. Uh, Draco Dragonface. Uh, so, uh, this is the Decepticon. Um, I currently DM Storm King's Thunder here on Fantasy Grounds, uh, along with uh, Lost Minds of Fandelver. Um, I actually, uh, my first time uh, playing as a player was Friday with uh, with uh, Caesar, uh, Caesar. Um, and um, so I don't have a whole lot of experience as a player, mostly as a DM. And I've been doing that for about a year and a half now. And are you streaming? Are you streaming? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, Just... the next level, the next level is streaming. Yeah, no, uh, My, no we'll, we'll get you into streaming. The reason I started streaming is, is I'm like, I want to record my session. So I started looking into how to record the session, the, the Fantasy Ground session. And, uh, you know, it's just one other button, stream, record. It's it's after you get it all set up. It's just the camera. So, you know, that's why I'm doing it. Just so you guys can see the Fantasy Ground stuff. Um, and this the last character, Epitapata, Ep- a- e- EpiPen? What is that? <laughs> Epithumia. Epithumia. <laughs> um, I will be playing a half elf uh, druid, and um, uh, I've I've dabbled in fantasy grounds. Um, Dave was actually the first person to introduce me to fantasy grounds and the wonderful world that I can find within. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. Um, and thanks for helping me out. Yeah, no, you did a good job. I I just guided you patiently waiting. That's it. That's sometimes that's all you got to (laughs) do. All right. So that's everybody. Uh, there was somebody in the, in the reserves, but I I don't know how that works. Um, if you're out there and you're watching and you want to get on the table, you're more than welcome. I can run six, uh, but, uh, we're not going to wait for you. So you're going to have to catch up. Uh, as this party is getting ready to leave Neverwinter, heading down south. Uh, so, uh, as a quick thought, uh, does it does it tell you a, a map? Yeah, there's a map and all. 
Uh, shows you uh, the path down to from Neverwinter down to the Tribor Trail, and then you head east on the Tribor Trail. Uh, and that's where uh, we catch up with you guys. Um, who's who, how are we riding, and who's who's what? Let's take a look at the party sheet. And uh, I, I was a little playful with the party sheet here, and go to the inventory, not the inventory, the marching order. And I, and I got uh, I got a, a map over there. Can you guys see that? Is that is that does that work for you? Yep. The player yep. Side? Can see it. <laughs> and uh, let's let's see. Uh, uh, Ada, you're, you're, are you driving the wagon? Are you? Oh, the scale's kind of small, but let's make it big. Like that? Do you guys see that on the party yep. sheet and the order? Yep. Uh, Draco right, would be it. out in front. Draco? Yeah, Caesar, Caesar will be out in front uh, leading on foot. So, so we're, we're heading south, so that's why everybody's facing south. So the bottom of the map is south, so... Did you share the map in Fantasy Grounds? Because I can see it on your stream, but not. Right, go to the party sheet and hit the uh, marching order button on the right tab. Okay, cool. The party sheet's in the top right. It is the one that looks like three little people all on together. Mm -hmm. And then on the right side is the order tab, and then there's a, a little a little map there. Okay, thank you. Caesar, where'd you say you would be? Over in the bushes taking a pee? What? Out, out front, uh, scouting out, leading. Kind of, right, you know, here, probably 100, off, 100 off meter feet, 100 yards. No, oh, I got you. I got you. And then, uh, let's see, Belle, is she just riding in the wagon? Does she want to be just carried around? Well, she can drive, you know, help drive the wagon. Yeah, you guys switch off and on here and there. Yeah. And who's, who did I forget? Oh. Me. Oh, I'm nice. She can be in the front. Oh, you want to? Somebody's got to drive the wagon. Bell. I will be on top of the oxen, riding on top, <laughs> um, <laughs> keeping them calm and petting them. Maybe next to them once in a while when they when when your butt gets sore, riding on that hard oxen back. You know, next to them. Okay, I got you. So as a general idea, you guys, uh, uh, this is your travel formation. It's not set in stone. Every time uh, things could change a little bit, but. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, sleep order, if you survive the day, then we'll worry about that next session because it's not going to come into play. <laughs> uh, but if you do survive and you do get a long rest, uh, you, you're going to level up. But uh, <laughs> that's not that's someone else's problem. It's not mine. <laughs> so I have a uh, an image for you guys. I'm going to push you. So uh, I'm done with the party sheet. I'm going to I'm going to. Park it over here where I park it. Close it. And push you guys a image. Let's do some... Who, did, who got on Sirenscape? Anybody? Come on. I did not. I did not. There is a link in the message of the day for Sirenscape. Uh, the message of the day is in the top right uh, under the options tab which is the gear in the bottom left the message of the day will pop up and there's a link to the sirenscape if you have sirenscape it will probably take you right to my sirenscape thing if you don't then that's a whole nother thing and uh, it's up to you if you want to go research that but we're not slowing down for sounds for you unless you really want to any complaints? Nope. Nope. All right, cool. Um, so those that have Sirenscape, uh, their characters... Uh, why isn't it working? Oh. Maybe because I don't have Sirenscape loaded on the table. Is that is that possible? <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't trigger. I can hear the music in the background, but it didn't trigger uh, effect. Well, that worked. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, I know it's probably wrong. The volume's down. 
Ouais. Sorry, guys. I wasn't worried about the sounds, but now that they're not working, <laughs> I gotta turn it up. All right, here it goes. Yeah, the chat trigger's turned on. Yeah. Are you guys hearing the some of the? I hear the cackle. Yeah. Okay. So that's working. Rogue works. Hey, man. Thanks. What, what happened? Somebody. Something happened. First time chat. Rogue works. Welcome. Um. All right. So you guys hear like buzzing sounds like. Um, like flies up ahead, and you can see something in the road. Uh, something dead has got a couple of arrows stuck in it. If you zoom in, you can you can see the flies are moving around. See them wiggling. All right. <laughs> yeah, Caesar's gonna <clears throat> give them kind of like the stop sign, and then he's gonna go forward and check it out see what's going on since all he's right. a ranger all right i need to kind of uh now it's getting loud you guys are getting closer I yes guess. <laughs> i just had to turn it down <laughs> I, i'm stopping it i'm stopping it it's too loud uh let me uh share another map with you this is the top down view so you, you can close that other image actually i'll close it for you there you go take it take it away from you I don't need that anymore. And uh, let's uh, let me unlock the tokens, and you guys can uh, now move your characters where you want to be. Uh, and we don't need lighting, so because it's daylight out. All right, Caesar. Um, as you uh, approach these uh, two horses, obviously, they, you can tell they they they've been dead for a little while. Uh, you know, the flies are starting to get on them. Uh, they're not really rank, like stupidly stinky, and uh, so they they haven't been dead that long. The area that you're traveling in, it probably wouldn't be that uncommon for you guys to not come across other travelers for a day or two, even. So you would figure maybe a couple days old at the longest. And uh, give me a perception check there, uh, Mr. Stealthy, or uh, Sniffy, Sniffy McSniffy Steen. Yeah, um, uh, so you see, like, it looks like somebody's kind of tried to, like, cover up some tracks here. Um, like, with the like a stick with leaves on it or something kind of thought and uh and we got uh um initiative so let me see what i do with this encounter should have it pinned right here yeah as uh you guys suddenly have some goblins pop out like up on the cliff edge over to the left um is that screwing with you guys i'm gonna turn this this off Does that help yeah i see uh you can I do see, see the, one there's two of them I can up see the there. One, be one behind a rock. I can see that one. Now. Oh, there's, okay. Yep. There's, yep. there's two of them. them. You can hear them. If, if you don't have line of sight or something, maybe they're behind a, a rock or something. But yeah, they have, it. they, they kind of, I'm, I'm going to have them kind of move up a little bit so they can shoot down, rain arrows down. It looks like they're ready to ambush. And, uh, and this one, um, he comes running out yeah! towards you guys and he's got his melee weapon out. Yeah. And you see another one kind of come out and start heading down that way. And uh, that's where we're going to... I don't even have this set up yet. Give me one second. I'm going to push you guys initiative rolls. So hit the dice button at the bottom. 
And uh, I got two people in the party in the the bard gnome uh, fall out fell out the wagon a long time ago. Broke his neck. You had to bury him. And Eddie the cleric uh, went off in looking for a squirrel and, and never came back. But Bell, he reeked uh, of alcohol anyway. Bell, you're uh, you've uh, started moving forward and you see this guy. He's kind of like coming around the edge of this bush right here. Do you got a, a weapon or something you can kind of drag out? I do. Short I bow. whip out that short bow, and I'm going to shoot that little sucker. All right. Well, you got him targeted. All right. So you fire. <laughs> yep. You freaking nail this guy right in the side. What? He's like, he squeaks out a freaking goblin. A couple of curse words. Right. And we oh, shoot Oh, he freaking trips falls slides just you can tell he's dead he doesn't his arms just twitches a little as he's laying there uh, you all better run or i have more she of like these just dead you. shots him i got one <laughs> Plap. Did nice you wanna, shot did you want to move up no no you're okay back I'll there let them come to me <laughs> uh caesar you're right up there uh the, the guy yeah. he, he just almost like some a little bit of blood splatters on your boots right he was heading right yeah, for caesar, you yeah caesar sees him slide down face first with an arrow in his face and then he's going to uh go after this uh the goblin poor fitted skirt so caesar's gonna draw his uh, short sword and just run right at him all right uh let's see yeah you're get they're taking your full movement to get up there because it's a little hill there uh but yeah you can get him he's just gonna take a swing at him. no he dodges out of the way he like back pedals up the hill a little bit and you're like swinging at his feet yeah caesar was a little tired after running up that hill kind of stumbled a little bit <laughs> Well, gigantic, and his poor fitting skirt is is dead. So, uh, uh, our poor fitting skirt is uh, he like no, he's that's got one his, I just swung at. Yeah, he's got a scimitar out already, and he just he suddenly like, takes a swipe down at you as he's scrambling backwards. He's like, eh, 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 and he freaking he like he like it's the the leather handle on his scimitar goes flying off, and his scimitar goes flying out of his hand. It lands nearby but he's like Rah! he starts scrambling backwards trying to get away from you a little bit he, you do see he's got a bow on his back but he doesn't have any other weapons this rusty old scimitar has been around a while too that's kind of nearby him and he and he, he kind of trying to reach for it he's currently unarmed uh supple is um up here with a bow he's gonna come over and uh Right on this landing over here, and uh, he's going to shoot down at at uh, Caesar down there on the other side. Got his back to him. He takes his short bow and twangs an arrow at there. Whoop, oh, it bounces off of your armor. Pew! It goes f one arrow down. They only got 20 more to go, or 19 more to go, so not to worry. They can eventually run out. Vertically challenged. So this guy, um, he comes moving up. And uh, he gets to the edge a little bit. And since he's vertically challenged, I don't know what that means, uh, he gets a little dizzy. And I'm going to give him a minus two because he's got a funny name uh, to also shoot down at. Uh, I think it means he's short. Yeah, yeah. I think he's scared of heights, <laughs> but it's a goblin. It doesn't translate well. It doesn't translate well. Uh, so he does shoot a short bow down at Caesar as well. They're trying to pen him. Bouncing off your armor. Ping, ping. What, what kind of armor you got there? Leather or something? That's some tough armor. I think it's scale. Wow. Uh, Ranger and scale mail. Epi. Epi. Might be yep. the starting armor. <laughs> Where are um, you at? Oh, you're back here on the... the you, you got the oxen. They seem kind of calm right now, so you don't think they're going to go running off on you or anything. Okay, good. Huh. She sighs with relief. <laughs> um, she wants to move up about 30 feet 
All right. So yeah, no problem. You hop down off the oxen and you move up. Oh, so you're there. Uh, what are these? Just empty tokens over here? <laughs> these, the ghost <laughs> of the player's past. And um. Sling. She's got a sling, but I'm not sure how far the distance, the range is on that sling. Um, is, is it in your inventory? Yeah. I don't see it. Oh, oh, oh my bad. I was looking at weapons. <laughs> I was uh, looking at weapons. We can make that happen, though, by dragging it there. And now go to your actions. And there. Now your sling. Let's give you, let's say you got 10 ammo. Uh, the range of a sling is 3120. So there there would be, a dis, you'd be a disadvantage on hitting one of them. But you can try if you like. Yeah, she'll go ahead and try. So click the disadvantage button on the, uh, on the, modifier bar the dis button you can do it you can do it <laughs> and then on your actions tab just uh, uh click on the uh which goblin do you want to hold control and click on the goblin that you want to hit with the sling i think i'm gonna try vertically challenged yeah he's probably the, the one you can see the clearest there here i'll, I'll help you out I'm going to I'm going to drop that on him for you. Oh, you did it. Nice. Uh, it bounces off of his armor. He's he's got a he's got actually no, let me let me adjust that. Hold on. Minus 2 cuz he's not wearing his shield currently. And uh wait. Yeah, it's still missed. Sorry. No, that's no, a, thir a 13 would have hit him. I'm sorry. His armor class is a 15. So you did hit. Go ahead and roll damage because your sling bops him in the head. He goes to throw his shield up and realizes he's got a bow in his hand. And he can't have a shield. And it, the rock bops him right in the nose. So go ahead and roll damage on him. <laughs> Three points. He busts his nose. He, pff, he's like, eh. And he, he's already kind of dizzy standing there on the edge. He kind of staggers back a little bit. Anything else? Um, I yell at him. I'm like, why don't you take a few steps forward? I'm sure the ground misses you. <laughs> and that's it. He yells something back and goblin. <laughs> uh, Ada. Ada? Ada? Yep. I don't know. What do you think? Is rage a is rage a bonus action or an action? A uh, bonus action. Okay, so I'm going to rage. Well, I, I kind of recommend that you wait to rage until you can actually hit something. Okay. So I if you want to move up, or are you? Uh... Yep, I'm going to move up. I think I can move. This guy's like kind of up a little hill. He's scrambling around trying to get his weapon. This guy's up pretty high. Um, if you wanted to like, like jump like through these rocks or something and scramble up top, uh, it'd cost you a little bit extra movement to get up there. But you could jump that way if you wanted to. You're giving me to here. Yeah, yeah. You could scramble up there um, as your action. Or is your movement to get up there? Okay. Do you have a range weapon? You got I a do. hand axe. You can freaking chuck a I hand axe at him. Absolutely. I have a javelin also. But oh, I even I'm better. Gonna, I'm going to use the javelin. It goes 30. He's already kind of, his nose is busted. He's kind of staggering around. You freaking got a hand axe on your belt. You come scrambling up and you pull out this hand axe. Wah, 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 wah. See if you can hit him with it. Troll, click on his token if you want to target him, yeah? And then just double click on the damage. Ooh! I mean, on the... Not the damage. You got to hit for... Oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. so... I was picking it for last night. 
So you oh, scramble oh. up and you and you pull out this hand axe and you go to throw and the rock you're standing on just kind of crumbles behind you a little bit <laughs> and you just kind of slip down and you still got the hand axe in your hand but you had to like grab a hold of the ground and, and hold yourself up so you just kind of totally missed. Uh, you could rage at this time if you want to use your bonus action. Sure. Do I get two actions at this level? I was no, at first level. Like... No, you don't get two actions until you're, okay. until Four, you're up there. Or something. Okay. But yep, let's rage. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, down on your actions tab, uh, there's uh, the rage under barbarian. Click the little mm -hmm. magnifying glass and then click the little self uh, person on the left that says effect. And there you go. Yeah. You are now raging. All right. Rawr, why did it make it. the noise? Rawr. Rawr. Do I not have the... Maybe I don't have the chat trigger modules loaded. I'm going to look. I'll do it myself. Oh. Oh. Trigger. They're not loaded. That's the problem. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. Wow. <laughs> the chat triggers are what 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 I love about the whole thing now. All right, so Ad, I think you're out of anything you can do. Draco. Yeah, Draco, uh, he's going to see his uh, friend up there getting uh, shot at. So he's going to run up 30 feet. And he's going to take out as he's running his light crossbow. Uh, and he is going to uh, target vertically challenged. Oh, I'm uh, going your... to give you a plus two to hit him since he got busted in the nose last round and he's kind of on the edge. Okay, great. Thanks. So I'll he's kind of staggered two. back. He's like, Arr, Arr. all right. Uh, and uh, here we go. I'm going to, as I'm running, I'm going to fire and see, uh, see if I can hit this guy. Uh, that would be a no. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to look at my crossbow like, what? It's never failed me before. What is no, going on? He's, he's, he's holding his nose, right? And he, he goes to sneeze, and the crossbow goes right over his head <laughs> as he sneezes. Blood goes splattering all over his clothes. Uh, and that will be my turn. Uh, oh, top of the round. I, I uh, We roll initiative uh, every round, so it makes it a little interesting. Reroll initiative oh. every round. All right. Uh, that's a setting in Fantasy Grounds, and uh, once you get used to it, it's so fun. So, Ada, you got initiative this round, top of the round, so you got this hand axe in your hand, uh, and you're raging. This little goblin is just... It, a crossbow bolt just whizzed over his head. He's kind of staggering there. I'll give you that same plus two to hit him if you want. In melee, with that hand axe. What, are, what else you got in your hand? Well, I do have my great... You could pull mm -hmm. that out and freaking whack him with it. Drop the hand axe. Let's do that. Yep, let's do it. So she just drops the hand axe, pulls this great axe out, and goes running with him with two hands. Are uh, you willing that two-handed? With both it's hands? Yeah, it's... My character... Oh, did you just change it? Yeah, I just changed it. <laughs> it says one. Yep, let's do two hands. Gives you a little more, a uh, little more oomph to the hit. Uh, I don't think you had a target it, but one second. Ah, oh wait. It, uh, he doesn't have a shield out. Uh, uh, that's uh, 14. His armor class is a 15. So. It bounces off of his armor. No, that hits. Roll damage. You can just grab that damage and drop it on his token, or you need to control click him. Oh, I need to move you up. Is that why you're confused? <laughs> oh, that's enough damage. So she just comes up and with his great axe, and she's just like. Oh, like chops right into his neck. He falls over. She just bleeds out right there in front of her. 
You like put your head down and pull your axe out of him. Did you want to finish your move? You, you only move like 10 feet. The other one's over there. You can just yep, take... Yep, let's go. I can go like 21. Yeah, you can start running towards him. He, he looks at you. His eyes get big. He's got his bow in his hand. He looks down at his shield at his feet. He's like, ah. All and right. That's he it. says something in Goblin. <laughs> Uh, he, he like scrambles. I think he's going to just pick up his shield and put it on and, uh, and kind of back paddle away from you a little bit. He's like, I -ki! and you see him looking towards the, uh, towards the woods here. Uh, and you can hear, um, some more commotion coming as, uh, some more goblins are making their way through the woods. You can hear them out there. Uh, Gwydion, thank you for the biddies. Hey, Gwydion, what's going on, man? Uh, so the fight is getting a little uh, more challenging for you guys as there's some more goblins moving around somewhere. Um, you guys hear uh, on the other side, a goblin comes running out of this side of the woods, too, right up behind this big rock. He's trying to be quiet, but uh, Draco easily spots him as he comes running out. He's, he doesn't have any weapons out yet. He's just looking like, what's going on? And uh, he sees Draco, and he's he's thinking, hmm, should I get my scimitar or short bow out? Hmm, me, take me. Don't met me. That's all he does at the moment uh, to get out there. Uh, you can hear, uh, Ada, you can hear crunch, 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 crunch as uh, another goblin uh, is peeking his head out of the bushes over here. Uh, Snarl at him and raise yeah. my head. He's like, he's like, come this way, he says in common. And he waves his hands towards uh, the supple guy. I mean, he says it in goblin, not, uh, not common, because that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> we can still kind of tell and this guy um, climbs up on the rock back here uh, and you can see that something has stung the crap out of one of his legs and it's all swollen up and uh, he's kind of dragging it limply as he climbs up on there and he sits down on top of the rock and he doesn't really seem to be paying attention to what's going on uh, behind him. He, he's more concerned about whatever happened to his leg currently. And uh, you see a guy um, like sit up on top of the hill behind the other guy. Like, and he rubs his eyes like he just woke up. He's like, um, um. <laughs> He looks around and he sees uh, the top of Caesar's head and he, he kind of looks confused at the moment. Caesar. Yeah, he's going to swing at this uh, guy that's wearing this uh, skirt that's kind of like drooping down below, you know, halfway up his ass. Um, take a swing at him with a sword. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, so you almost hit him. And you, like, you like come down, and uh, as you like put your weight on like this gravelly side of this cliff edge, you know, it's just a little little ledge. It crumbles underneath of you, and your feet sink down into like the roots, and you freaking you're you restrained yourself for a round. You're like ah, your foot's caught on the root down there. You're like oh crap. Um, His underwear distracted me. <laughs> so, uh, if you wouldn't mind dragging the restraint condition on yourself for for one round, uh, and that's about all you can yeah, do, though, it. right? You got a yeah, bonus action. Poor I don't have any spells yet. So, so he looks at you, and uh, he's like, eh. he he sees that you're caught in the thing, right? And uh, he takes advantage as he scrambles away from you, reaching for his scimitar over here. Um, I don't, does the restraint condition not allow you to take attacks of opportunity? I don't, I don't think so. So you'd just be a disadvantage if you want to. Because he's scrambling away from you, going for his scimitar. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, I he, missed he, him. Like, he like pulls his feet out of the way and scrambles. He picks up his scimitar now, and he sees that you're kind of caught, and he's like, Rrr. and he's he looks at his butt, and he's like, we am you, and then he he's gonna scramble back over here with his scimitar and come swinging it at you. With advantage since you're restrained. Oh, he connects on you. He slashes your arm. Wait, what? What? What was that? Sharing is caring. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Six points of damage as he slices your arm open. I want to remind everyone, chat rewards are in effect. So uh, if you want to help the players, you can uh, earn chat points and uh, reward them. So uh, there's potions of healing and stuff like that. So if you're watching the stream and you got chat points, you can use them. Uh, poor fitting skirt looks down at you and he's like, eh, nee, 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 he says in Goblin. <laughs> Bell. Like the hunter game. I told you all you better run. I have uh, more of these. You got advantage on him um, because he's not paying any attention to what you guys are doing. He's looking down at something bit his leg and he's all swollen uh, up. Well, I want to move up to that spot that I clicked on. Oh, so you like run over behind the bush, you get Oh yeah, that's a little better angle on him too. Yeah, that's the point. I want that better angle. Yeah. Make sure so you click that advantage button before you uh, roll the hat hit. All right, we'll do. He's like sitting there looking at his ankle. He's like just got his back totally towards you. He's like looking down. All right. You freaking nail him right in his spine. <laughs> he just, he I just brought pfft. more of these. He falls down over, slumps down, down the other side more. of the rock, and and uh, you don't see him no more. You think he's, you think he's not moving though. <laughs> uh, Draco. Yeah, so I'm gonna see uh, Caesar here in a, in a in a tough spot. So I'm gonna be uh, running that way, just roaring, <clears throat> oh, trying to get this thing's attention. Quidian awarded Caesar a potion of healing. <laughs> nice. Uh, Do it now or wait for yeah, my turn? Yeah, those are instant. Those are instant. You have to use them right away. Uh, can I get there or is that double movement going up that hill? Um, if you want to step on Caesar, I'll let you get up there. If you want to use him as a, as a step. Um... <laughs> Save his life? I don't know what I, kind of relationship your characters have had in the past, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, you a... know... I mean, it's just a, a dragonborn with, uh, you know, heavy armor stepping on him. Right. I'm sure he'll be fine. You, like, you like run, you grab all of his shoulder, you put your boot down on his shoulder, you just step up right in front of him. What do you, what do you got out with your weapon? Yeah, so I, I, I kind of dropped the, the light crossbow, so and I took out my... Uh, battle axe uh so i'm gonna target uh this guy with the skirt the poor fitting skirt yeah uh, you can almost see right up that skirt to you you kind of have one of those ooh, moments yeah yeah that's uh i kind of uh say to uh caesar uh, uh thanks for the boost and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna take a chop so yeah. She just nailed this guy right in his right in his thigh. Whack. Oh, and it just takes his thigh completely off, and he just tumbles and slides down the hill onto the ground, uh, into the road down there. And when you look down, like the the roots that are around Caesar's ankle, somehow have some kind of healing going on, and his wounds close up on his arm because Gwydion uh. helped him out in chat. Yeah, and so uh, I'll 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 kind of hold out my hand to help him up, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right. Well, I'll let Caesar get here as you help him up, and you see this goblin like still prone, since it's going to come into play right now. Let me put the uh, prone condition on him. Uh, prone. I think it's going to come into play, but we'll find out. And I need that button down here. Boop. Okay. Um, Epi, where where are you at? Uh, 
back there. I'm back there. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know the that the minuscule nude colored left ear guy is is over here or not. What's your passive perception? Um, Thirteen and yeah, you do. You hear him over there. You can't see him. He's behind the he's behind this big rock over here, but you can hear him back there. He's like, well, I'm gonna do um he's like thinking oh, I'm gonna use my scimitar or my bow. Um, he's saying that in goblin if you speak it or not. <laughs> um Yeah, she's gonna go uh check no, it you out. Got the wrong um, token. You're back here one a little bit. That's Bell. Your dragon bell. Or Bell's Dragon Bell. Maybe Bell's Dragon Bell. All right, yeah, so you, 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 you move around the <laughs> corner there. Bell figure out angles ahead of time. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you can't... I don't know. Let me see what your target sees. Um, what Are you going to, like, sling him? What, what are you attempting to do if you see him? Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I think I'm gonna you could, trade my you? sling in for my scimitar. Uh, you could thorn whip his little butt over the wall if you wanted to. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, thirty feet is the range of thorn whip, so you make a, a spell attack against the target, which is uh, a melee plus two. So he like peeks his head up, and you're like, oh. And you, with your uh, a stem of a plant that's got thorns on it, you like go, whoosh, and so you could. Do you want me to drop it on him for you? Uh, yeah, I haven't done a spell before on. All right, so cards. you like whip this thorn whip out at him, and you would think that would have worked. Uh, let me try. Why isn't it working? A 14. It doesn't. Oh, that's why it's not working, because my pointer was in the way. <laughs> so he's like... Meh! And he throws his shield up, and the thorn whip like grabs all of his shield, and you like pull it on his shield. He's like, eh, 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 and he pulls his shield back. He kind of stumbles back a little bit, but you didn't get a hold of him with it. That's and, okay. Uh, I got his attention. Yeah, that's a cantrip, so you can do that every round, and it doesn't cost you anything. So you're like, ah, I'll get nice. you next round. <laughs> 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 uh, supple top of round two. Is the guy over here uh, that was shooting at Caesar, uh, but he sees this uh, orc barbarian up here, and he's like, um, he like dropped his bow and he strapped on his shield last round, and he, he looks down and he pulls his scimitar out because his buddy's uh, ropey is coming out of the bushes over there, and he feels a little braver now. And uh, he turns and stops, and he turns, takes off running back towards you, and <laughs> swinging the scimitar at at Ada, and he's like, Wah! and you just like jump over his swing, he's like, Wah! and he says something in in uh, Goblin that you don't understand, or maybe you do, uh, Caesar. <laughs> yeah, guy. Caesar's gonna <laughs> charge this guy over. Here. He's like laying on the ground. He starts like backpedaling, like trying to get away from you. He he doesn't even have any. His like shield is like laying over there. His scimitar is laying over there. He's like partially under his blanket still. Oh, As he God. throws his blanket up in front of you and you like whack at it, she gets caught on your scimitar on your weapon. You're like, yeah. Uh oh. I'm going to take Draco. a kick at him. Just kick at him. Yeah, Break. you can hop up on that uh, on that statue if you want. It won't. It doesn't cost anything. It's, it's flat enough. It's stable enough. 
uh, Draco will, uh, he, he sees uh, his, his good friend Caesar here uh, miss, and, and he's just kind of like, well, how'd you miss this guy? Uh, and he's going to run over here. Oops, sorry, right there to flank him. Yeah, no flanking on uh, okay. on the table, but that's that's cool. He, he's he's okay. scrambling away. You move behind him so he can't get away. Yep. Uh, like, and he, Caesar like yanks the freaking blanket out of his hand. He's like, Meh! he looks back at you. He like throws his hands up to try to defend himself the best he can. Yeah, and uh, Draco has uh, absolutely no mercy on his face <laughs> as uh, the battle axe comes uh, screaming down at this uh, at this thing's shoulder and neck. With advantage, because he's prone, and that's a hit. He chop into this guy. Nice, just. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, twelve points of damage. The poor goblin. He just is. He's, he just turns into a big blob and uh draco will will scream out that's two for me and you got a few more uh feet of movement so i could say he could jump up on the statue over there and proudly claim that sure like, so he's up high off the i will do so he's like that's two for me and he looks down at everybody and the, there's you, you can now see that you're up a little higher there's a goblin hiding behind this rock back here uh, yeah, he's just going to scream out in Draconic, uh, you're next. I know it probably doesn't understand it, but that's what he does. Uh, well, Caesar will just hang his head in shame because he have not even hit one yet. <laughs> well, <laughs> minuscule nude colored left ear uh, turns his ear towards you, and you see his eyes get big as you're kind of covered in, in his companion's blood and stuff. And uh, he fumbles around and... Uh, he, uh, I'm gonna just make his AC in the combat tracker 13 <laughs> or on his sheet uh, in the combat tracker because he drops his shield that he didn't really have uh, strapped on his arm very well. He fumbles around and he pulls out a short bow and he kind of stands up and he takes a couple of steps uh, away from that crazy druid whip thing and aims this short bow up at the uh, a dragon face up on the hill there uh, and fires his short bow off twang it goes wide bouncing off your arm ping ropey on the other side now jumps out of the bushes and runs swinging his scimitar at Ada he's got his shield on and he misses as she jumps over that swing easily, too. So, Belle, uh, this guy he runs right out into your line of oh. sight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's you're like, in trouble you're like, now. I don't even have to re-aim. <laughs> just fire another one. Twang! I need to get just a... Let's see how much... Yeah, I need to get just a little closer. Oops. <sighs> I hate when it does that. Uh, no, no, I'll, just oh, I'll put you there. Is that where you want to be? No, I, I was trying... Uh, this it, it keeps wanting to go the wrong way. Oh, that there way. There we go. There. Sometimes tokens are pain in the butt. <laughs> I told you all you better go. Inconceivable. <laughs> Oops, wrong thing. Uh, this one. There we go. That's damage. <laughs> She like just fires a second arrow off of as fast before the other one does damage. <laughs> Goes whizzing. You can subtract I an extra more... arrow off your inventory. <laughs> I have more arrows. Keep coming or run. <laughs> he didn't even know what hit him. He just just falls over and stiff as a board. Flunk onto the ground. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Uh, Ada, you're just, right. just, just a guy who just comes running out, just swings at you, and then suddenly an arrow just whacks him onto the ground. Whoever that is with a bow down there, that, that half-elf, she's deadly. She is. She is my buddy. So Supple uh, looks kind of up at you, uh, and he points to his dead friend. 
and he points to himself and he shakes his head like no and he throws his sh shield up and it pff, smashes him onto the ground a little he's like ah! the shield kind of has a big gash in it and it's kind of wobbly on his arm now because you know they're not the nicest shields they didn't buy them at the general store anything else I was looking to see if there was anything else I can do. I don't think so. Nah, but most likely not. Uh, you got a two-handed weapon. Yeah, you can't use a bonus action to use a light weapon or anything. So you can move around him or something if you want. Maybe maybe so he can't run off. You move over here maybe, block his path. Shut him off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> That's an action, but you could try that next round. Just pick him up and throw him off the cliff. The barbarian. I can throw him at the other one. There was one closer. Okay. Next yeah, one. 60 foot is the maximum range of goblin throwing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Happy. Good to know. So this guy's like running away from you, shooting up at the at the at Draco up on the hill up there. Um, she's going to take. Mm, I'll I'll say I'll probably do fifteen. But you're gonna just move up like to here. Yeah. Um, and she says um proudly, uh, you'd do best to leave my companions alone, and she's going to take her sling, and uh. Whack this poor guy in the back of the head. You hit him right in his left ear. It's no longer <laughs> nude color. I need to change his name. It's now blood colored. <laughs> Bop! He, he's like, she's staggering. He's like, meh. And he's like, friend? Meh. He looks at you confused. <laughs> And that's all for me. Uh, worthless trouser is worthless. He's dead. Uh, so top of round three is supple. Uh, he is. He's like, oh, I got a naked in my knee. And he takes his scimitar and he swings it at Ada. He's like, you get back. And he. he, he, he <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah, and he swings his scimitar, and it, 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 it like it, it like hits you in like your backpack, kind of sorta, and it, it like gets hung on his on the backpack, and you look down, and the scimitar has like all these like, um, like bad areas that are rusted, and a piece of it has caught his sleeve, and he's restrained now, and he's caught on your backpack. He's like, Meh! and he's trying to get free, but uh, he has caught himself. Let me uh, throw restraint on him real quick. Uh... All right. That's all he could do because he can't get nowhere. He's like, he's like trying to pull away from you. You know, he's trying to go this way. So maybe if he breaks free, uh, he'll go flying off of there or something. We don't know. We don't know. But it's your turn. <laughs> he doesn't. Kill the human! <laughs> Kill the humans, he says, as this great axe comes down onto his head. <laughs> Just. Oh. You like just split him in half all the way to the ground. He like does the cartoon like <laughs> falls open. <laughs> His scimitar is still dangling from your backpack. You're not paying it no attention. It's like dangling back there. It's caught in I'm your just back. ignoring it. I'm raging. <laughs> so did you want to think I'm running somewhere? Jump down yeah. the hill? I don't know. <laughs> do, I, do I hear anybody behind me? Because I know there were people in the woods. No, they've already come out and been killed. Both of them. <laughs> There's nobody else there yet, then I'll run yeah. down. So yeah, you could uh, jump down. Uh, give me a acrobatics or an athletics check to, to just jump down that hill. Let's see how well you do. Uh, 
I'm gonna clear a target for you. Nice. So yeah, she she just pretty much just jumps like like the Hulk and goes flying through the air, lands right next to this horse. And when you look down at this horse, you see like a brand on it. It says it's it's the brand of of uh, Rock Seeker. You recognize the symbol. Gundren Rockseeker's horse. Um, minuscule left ear. His ears are probably ringing from that rock hitting him in it. He's like, wah, wah. and uh, he quits aiming up at the hill and he turns around and points his bow at at Epi and takes a shot with it. Twang. Misses her. She ducks behind the rock next to her. It whizzes into the tree line behind her. Caesar. Um, Caesar's gonna go running at this uh, minuscule red-colored left ear. As you're running, Draco is gonna say, "I believe in you, my friend. You can do it." <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna make it that thirty feet, and he's gonna so, just look at his it's kind short of sword that he's been using and drop it it's kind of steep here and it's still a little uh damp a little bit give me an acrobatics check let's see it's the dc 10 so it's nothing hard you oh four. nice oh so when you jump off of this statue and you get about I don't know, about 20 feet down the hill, there's like a wet patch of, of leaves and stuff, and you just come sliding to a stop down here prone. And that was with a plus three. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a little steep there. Uh, you can either be back um, 10 feet and standing, or you can be there prone. Your choice. Yeah, he could be there prone. Okay. So he slid the, down the hill. Drop the prone condition on yourself. And did you want to All do right. an action or something? Um, actually, I was still had restrained on. No wonder I was missing. Um, <laughs> Damn, roots are still around my ankles. My ankles? I didn't right? pull them off. They were healing yet. Let me they put were, the, let me put the love prone. Love right? I'll put the prone on. And then he will, uh, like I said, he, he'll he'll drop his uh, uh, sword because he couldn't hit with it anyway, and pull out his longbow and try to shoot this goblin from the prone position. <laughs> he's like holding his ear. He's walking around in a circle a little bit, and you come sliding down this hill with your and you like lay you lay your bow out, and you shoot him right in the freaking chest. He's like, Bleh. He flies back about two feet off of his feet, lands over here dead in the ground. And the arrow's like, wah, 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 right into his chest. Maybe I shouldn't be using the sword. Maybe I shouldn't be using the sword. Well, as you guys think you're just like getting these goblins under control, another batch of them comes running out, and uh, we're going to keep going. <laughs> They keep coming out from underneath that rock. Keep yeah, what's out. going on? Hey, what's going on? It's like Groundhog Day over and over again. Um, but this is where they're at. Uh, yeah, there's like a, a hole in the ground down there under this statue. And this goblin rolls out from underneath of it. He was like, well, I was sleeping too. <laughs> this guy... Uh, is was underneath the rocks and he kind of moved too hard and the rocks collapsed and he's just standing there now like um the guy uh turquoise cap over here and uh, and then the other two guys come walking out of the bushes and they're each carrying like a dead squirrel they're like hey we got dead what the hell so draco you're like proudly standing up there and you look down and you see this goblin just rolled out from underneath this log behind you and he looks up at you and he's like Meh. he's like looks down at his dead buddy that's still bleeding he, he, he like looks at him, he's got blood all over him he's like Meh. he doesn't have any weapons out yet and he just throws his hands up Meh. uh 
Yeah, Draco uh, Draco sees us and he's just like, what? Okay, we're going to have to do something about that hole. Uh, but uh, he is going to actually jump up in the air with his uh, battle axe over his head uh, and and come down here uh, slicing at the uh, at the goblin. All right, give me an acrobat or a athletics check. Absolutely. The higher, the better. You can't fail it. All right. uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll do athletics. That's a success. I am going to give you a maximum damage if you hit. Okay. I'm going to... No, I will. You know what? I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> nice. Yes. So I can get advantage on this. Yeah, that's a good chance that you're going to get it. All Watch right. you crit. Watch you crit with the first die roll. That's yeah, how right? Is. Uh, no, no but that's a hit. So uh, you know how to do the maximum damage? Uh, that I don't know how to do, actually. So in the... Uh, which button is it? The modifiers button, the plus slash minus. Oh, okay. A max yep. button yep. there. Hit that max button. All right, there we go. Or actually, uh, on the table there, uh, Matakiri's extension added it to the modifiers. Oh, I see that on the table. Yep, but I, I got it. Uh, I forgot I got it, it was there too. So thirteen yep. points of damage as you like smash this stricken goblin down, and you like look down and you like kick this log open, and it, it rolls back off of the you know off of the hole and you can see that there was uh just enough room for like one goblin to be sleeping in there and you can see like there's a couple of where he's hidden a couple of like trinkets and stuff in there so some loots anyways if you can survive yep uh and uh i'll uh, I'll, I'll actually pick up his body and like kind of shake it over my head uh and say everybody need uh, all these goblins need to run away and i'm just going to toss it like 10 feet and <laughs> that'll be my turn down off of the hill down here like, yeah you know, yep. like it rolls down onto the hill next to the next to the other sure. dead one yep. and ada looks up at you and she just grins with her toothy high fork grin happy the so the rocks beside you like crumble and fall and there's like a there's like a a uh a, a goblin like in the side of it he's like ah he looks up at you ah you got your sling in one hand. What, what do you got in your other hand? Uh, nothing. Just my sling. Um, but she looks startled at him. Uh, just like, what in the crap? <laughs> um, and uh, shrugs, and then she's going to aim her sling at him. Uh, I think. Uh, I think more likely you might just burn him with your f cantrip spell, wouldn't you? Like, just blast him with your cantrip spell. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Okay, hold on. Produce I'm not flame. used to having spells. Yeah, it's a cantrip. So produce flame. A flickering flame appears in your hand, and then you can hurl it. Uh... Oh, you can't hurl it in the same round. Uh, maybe you wouldn't do that then. Um, She's actually not going to Wait, do the produce. You can also attack with the flame, although doing so ends the spell when you cast the spell or as an action on a later turn. Oh, yeah, you can you can throw it at him this round. So if that's what you want to do. Um, She's not going to do the produce flame. Um, She's terrified of fire. <laughs> uh, So we're just going to do the thorn whip again. All right, I'll drop it on him for you. As you whoop. This thing is so... <laughs> uh, so she, like, pulls out this spell, and she, like, goes to hit him, and, and, like, he's, like, all these rocks are falling around, and the thorn whip gets caught up in these rocks, and you, like, fling it back, and um, a couple of the rocks, like, bounce off of you and kind of distract you for a second. And uh, you're, you're a little off-kilter, but uh, you, you didn't take any damage from it. Good. Whew. You can move if you like. He's looking like he's going to attack you. He looks down. He's like, <laughs> he pulls up his shield and he reaches down and he's grabbing a hold of his scimitar. He's like, and his teeth get long and he says something. To yeah, Godwin. she's going to take a few steps back. You can see uh, the ranger is locking another arrow. He's laying on the ground, though, behind you. He's knocking another arrow. Um, 
so he does he jumps up comes running towards you swinging the scimitar at you oops probably should move him he comes around and he yells something and uh swings the scimitar at you and misses as you dodge away you like jump back away from him as he's like meh, meh. and then he looks and he sees like Bo pointed at him and Bo pointed at him and you can clearly hear him go <laughs> <laughs> practical undies they're uh they're incredible hulk undies they're green um but they're kind of practical looking he jumps out of the bushes over here and he runs and he looks down at his buddy and he's like, that was my friend Thumple. Hey, you down there. I'm going to shoot you in my bow. He says that in Goblin, but if someone's yelling out translations, as an arrow comes flying out and hits Ada right in the back, whap, which makes her mad and continues her rage, <laughs> doesn't it? For, as she resists it for five points, resists it down to two points of damage as the arrow just nicks her across the shoulder. Uh, and this guy, he's like, he comes out. He's he's got like a low cut shirt on, and he he's got abs. He's like, I'm strapping. And uh, he comes running over to the edge, and uh, he takes his short bow and he aims it down at at Bell and fires his short bow down at her. Oh, that one's like whacks her right in the in the thigh. Like it hit her almost in the thigh, but it bounces off of some coins you had in there and just slices you open for three points. He's like nyeh. he yells down at you. That was a mistake. Uh oh. And then you point your bow up at him. As another goblin gets hit right in the throat, he's like, <laughs> he looks down at the arrow in his throat. He's like, oh. he staggers backwards. Four arrows down, four kills. Actually, Don't worry, he guys, didn't have any I more have movement, more. so he can't he can't stagger backwards. He just falls off the cliff right down. Too bit easier for me to loot later. <laughs> Come on, guys, keep coming. Did you I want to move? Oh, I'm gonna stay right there because I can, you know. It's a pretty good spot. In a good place. Yeah. So top of the next round, you so inspired yourself that you have initiative at the top of the next round. And this guy's oh, like, cool. He's like swinging at your friend. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just turn and freaking fire oh. another arrow. It whizzes oh, over his man. head. He looks at you though nervously. He's like, ow. The first miss. Don't worry, the next one won't. <laughs> turquoise cap he's like Meh. he's gonna keep the press on with this scimitar swinging it at epi with it he's like Meh. Meh. <laughs> he's swinging it around and you're just you just dodge out of the way he kind of moves behind you to get away from the the deadly bow in the street and then he looks behind him and he sees caesar like kind of looking like a part of the grass because he's a ranger and he's all stealthy like <laughs> he's like Arr. it's your turn Caesar <clears throat> Caesar's gonna pop up from being prone and take a shot at him make sure you drop that try off to hit him in his yeah, so you stand yeah, up out of the try... bushes like a sniper stands up when he hits the target you aim at his back yeah, and he'll try to hit him in a cat Thump! It sticks him right in the back. He's like, eh, eh. he staggers forward and falls over right, right onto the ground. Pfft, dead. And then uh, Caesar's going to uh, go prone again, back into the grass. <laughs> Steps back. Yeah, the guys across the. There's a one one guy up there with a with a bow. Anything else? That's it. Practical yep, that's it. undies. Well, he sees that he uh, he got that arrow in out of the last round, and it didn't sink in well. But he's gonna try another one. He fires another arrow down at Ada. Twang! And this one hits too. Uh, he's hoping he got a softer spot, but 
she's like, Rah! she just like brushes it off, snaps the arrow off, Gr yells at him. Uh, and it's her turn. Listen, Granny Panties, I am going to kill you. I think I'm going to chuck a... I did only have one hand axe left. I think I'm going to use... So I'm, I'm holding my great axe. I want to pull out a javelin. Is that... Yeah, you able? can... I let you... You can hold your axe in your offhand and then pull out the javelin and throw it. All right, so I'm, but I'm going to get a little bit closer. I think he's a little far. Can you move up here? Um, yeah, you can, uh, you can, she does like a, give me an acrobatics check or a strength check, whichever you want, uh, athletics or acrobatics. We'll see how she does this. Can't fail. Well, you don't want to roll low. <laughs> Did that show up? No. Right. On your skills, you could... I know, I just just... Athletics with advantage of 14. Yeah, so you... She just, just squats down and just leaps up into the air and comes jumping like a frog right up on top of here. Blop! And now you can chuck your javelin at him. Here in that square. <laughs> He's hit him right in the chest. <laughs> he goes flying back uh, from the javelin thrust. <laughs> She's like, yeah. What kind of damage do you do to him? Oh, seven points. He like falls over. <laughs> and uh, you know what? That is the best I've seen anyone do these encounters. I think I've thrown enough at you guys. <laughs> I was planning on uh, keep going. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I think that's enough. What do you guys think? You guys defeated the goblins. They were wimps. That'll loot all the bodies. Right. Get some. I don't loot. want those panties. <laughs> Crunchy well, I'm gonna take. Well, there's guys... a there's a skirt over here. There's an ill-fitting skirt. Now we can yeah. you know, run the panties up the flagpole, you know, and just show that we killed a bunch of them. I think the one I would be most with touching is strapping. <laughs> He's kind of, it looks like he might have put some kind of skin coloring on to give himself, make himself look tanner. Airbrush. <laughs> strapping, not strap on. Oh. <laughs> so what was that? Twelve um. goblins you guys killed. So um, might have been uh, twenty or thirty. Yeah, I was. That's a, what was Caesar's going to say. A lot. It was a ton. Hmm. Nice job, team. Yeah, we made that uh, counter look almost easy. So you didn't, you didn't, uh, you didn't question any of the goblins. So they can't tell you what they were doing here. Um, but it's kind of obvious that the that these horses were killed by these same arrows from these same goblins. Uh, obviously, this is some kind of ambush. Hey, um, did you guys see this brand on this horse? Does anybody know what it means? Oh, that's that's from our friend Gundren, right? That's yeah, that's his brand. Yeah, both of the horses have Gundren's brand on them. Um. Everybody can give me a survival roll. As you guys are now looking around, checking for tracks. Uh, if you want, you can also give me an investigation, whichever you prefer. Fours and fours aren't going to do it. Caesar and Draco look, oh, these are my tracks, I think. Yeah, <laughs> those are your tracks, and these are mine over here. Uh, Belle's like, uh, there's bushes over here, I think, she says. There's, there's bushes over here. Epi's like, ah. Oh. She's like, oh, from up, from over here, I can see there's tracks that lead off into this direction. And she points uh, towards the north. Uh, 
she's like, I think these are drag marks. Uh, let me take you guys out of uh, initiative. Hopefully they're still alive. Yeah. Just drag them off. There, there's no bodies or anything here, right? Of no. uh, no, of Sildar don't... and Gudrun. No, but there is uh, there is some uh, um, there is a saddlebag still. I'll uh, I'll take a look at them. Let's see if there's anything in them. So when you uh, open the like the flap on the saddlebags, there's a like a map case that's laying there. Um, right when you open it, like out of the bag, and the the like the cover of the case is open, but there's nothing inside the case. Right? It, it looks like a nice leather. You've seen Gundren with this before. It's a it's a it's his map case, but it's empty currently. Oh, they they seem to have taken them in the in the maps. Yeah, we from, gotta follow them. From the last you know day or so talking with Gundren, whatever was in that map case, he seemed to you know to 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 coddle the map case a little bit lately. So whatever it was, it was kind of important to him, anyways. You don't know what the map was. So, um. Are you guys want to take a short rest? Kind of gather um, your wits get... here. Gather the loot. Yeah. Yeah, gather up some. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's plenty of arrows here, so fill up your quivers with whatever amount you want within reason. You know, there's not 120, but you guys can easily get uh, 20 more arrows a piece. Um, cool. And uh, go ahead. Pick up my hand axe. Yeah, you can pick up your javelins and hand axes and all that kind of stuff that you lost. Uh, the goblins have some shields. They got some scimitars and uh, probably a few loose coins here and there uh, worth and some trinkets probably worth, uh, I want to say, uh, 10 gold f uh, worth of stuff you guys find. Nothing. I mean, goblins aren't like rich or anything, but but uh mm -hmm. I'm, Javelin's still stuck to my shirt. <laughs> it's a scimitar hanging on your backpack. A oh, scimitar, that's right. <laughs> Can you get that rusty scimitar off my backpack? It's, it's restraining me. Uh, so there's some loot for you guys. Two gold apiece. Maybe hey, you should keep it and we open the tavern. We can call it the rusty scimitar. You can hang that above the door. All right, here, you can have it. So, you know, the you can hear the oxen a little bit down there remind you that, uh, I don't know what oxen sound like, but not like a horse. No. But they make a noise, like the cart wiggles, and, and, you, and you remind yourself that you have a wagon full of loot sitting on the, way, on the tradeway down there. I run back to them to make sure they're okay. Yeah, they seem, they seem lonely. <laughs> yeah, they just seem lonely. They want attention. These are, you know, really domesticated oxen, you know. <laughs> they sound like goats. I, I don't know why they sound like goats. <laughs> but since uh, since this is fantasy grounds, we can we can move the cart to further up the street with you guys if you want, so it's not out in the open. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to take a short rest here where they could, uh, like, more goblins could come out and, like, ambush us on I mean, these this, cliffs? Or this do is we a pretty wanna... good ambushy spot. I mean, if you were going <laughs> to yeah. ambush somebody, you're saying, like, this would be a good spot right here. This is their ambush spot. If we get ready, we could ambush them before they ambush people. Yeah, or we could just pile up all the bodies at the end of their trail there that leads out from the, in the you know, they'll see it's them. Like, and they'll probably leave us alone. The trail's, like, right up, you know, right up here. I think it leads out. You can see it. The goblins have been coming and going. It looks like for a little while, if somebody goes over there and kind of investigates it, the path, you can see some tweaky wrappers and stuff where they, they're just littered. You know, they've been here a while. It's not, like, just a one-time thing. I don't think they're going to leave us alone. I don't think they're that smart. So we can hang the bodies in the trees as a warning? Yes. <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, whatever you guys do for the next hour, uh, that would be up to you guys, but you're going to get a short rest anyways. So on a short rest, you can burn hit die. Um, Bell and Ada, if you want to burn your one hit die, uh, you can roll that. And whoa, Jeez. 14. She's like, <laughs> Bells mm, that's her max the table where, how, did that go off your table too i was like way up oh, all the way off the table i heard that dice i think it's under that chair over there you better go get it the dog's gonna eat it if you don't but that made her healthy so everyone's healthy now so you guys want to uh like what do you guys want to do well i I think maybe we should hide the cart and oxen really well, and then maybe go hit that trail and see if we can go find them. Sounds like sound a plan. Awful? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, uh, you guys figure that if you get the uh, if you get them over like over here somewhere, you can you can put some bushes or something over them. We'll, we'll give them plenty of food so that they can uh, eat and and drink while they're standing there. Yeah, and you guys get you guys get some you guys get some bushes and stuff, and you like give them some camouflage love. Epithumia has secretly named them. Uh oh. Let's what's their names? I was gonna say now that you said that, now you have yeah, to know what, the names. Yeah, what's their names? Braun and um, Beer. Brawn and beer, huh? All right, yeah. so you guys, you guys hide them with some bushes and stuff. There you guys go. They're all hidden for you. Their horns are sticking out. Yeah, well, they. they That's gotta, so great. Gotta... <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. And uh, you guys start up the trail um, about an hour later, leaving. A dozen goblins hanging from the trees. Is that what you guys are doing as a warning to other goblins? Don't mess with our friend Sildar. But also well, we hung them in the tree to keep them from coming up. Do you move yeah. the dead horses off the road? Like, so if somebody comes by here, they don't like that to run them over with their cart. Like, <laughs> sure, we'll we'll move them off to the side. I mean, they're heavy. You drag them over here. Let me get this one over here, and we'll get this one, and we'll drag it. Oh, this one's falling apart. It's already getting mushy, but uh, we'll drag it over. We'll drag it over here. You can't. The blood, you just leave, because, yeah, it's 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 a paint layer. I'm not trying to get It'll it rain that. eventually. <laughs> Happy, uh, weirdly, like, make sure their eyes are closed and stuff. Like, does, like, a little ceremony for them. Aw. She brinkles some flowers on us, petals on them, and gives them a yeah. farewell into the afterlife. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, well, I didn't plan on the next encounter because I thought you guys would all be dead. But uh, there is a there is a little <laughs> bit more uh, uh, moving up. Uh, let's let's talk about uh, let's pretend that this is the path that's leading uh, into the woods for a second. Uh, well, how would you guys? travel down that path who would be in the front the ranger up front how far ahead of the rest yeah. of the party would the ranger be like this is like Probably. A, it's it's a heavy traveled game path um but it's mostly goblins through here so you gotta duck a lot because the goblins are only like four feet tall and you're and you're probably five or six so you're ducking under low branches and stuff but uh hey what's up jim jim on come on come I'd probably be about 50 feet in front of them, and Forest is my uh, natural explorer feature there. Yeah, that's kind of handy for the DM to put that on your sheet, isn't it? Uh, right. And Draco, you're you're up there too, but you're you're a little bit behind him because he's trying to be quiet. He's like, shh, you're not quiet. You stay back here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Let me get back here. All right. So he's up here. Draco, you're kind of following behind him a little bit. Ada, you're you're you and Bell are kind of within earshot of one another. If you wanted to whisper, moving down through the path, and uh, and Epi's, you're you're kind of in the back, just looking at the flowers and taking in all the all the and avoiding the dragon. Oh, and avoiding the dragon. Okay. Well, <laughs> she doesn't know if he can breathe fire. <laughs> a 
Caesar, as you're, as you're, uh, as you're moving up the, uh, up the path, um, you're, you're like, uh, you like come into like this little clearing and, uh, you see like the leaves look a little bit different on this path than they should. Like they're fresh leaves, not like dead leaves. And you kind of stop and look and, uh, Something's odd. Something's not right. You, you'd get the tingly feeling, you know. What do you do? I would probably call Epa, Epi up and uh, well, she's like let her way check it out a little bit she's... more na naturey than yeah. I am. So you you see Draco? He's just like walking. He doesn't pay any attention that you've stopped. He's just like, Doo -doo -doo. and you're <laughs> like, do you like like? Have Epi come up, come on up, or do you just yell back, "Hey, Epi, I found something." Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of give him the stop sign and just wave her up, not yelling, but you know, just kind of getting her attention to come up here, and so I could tell her there's something strange with these leaves and foliage and something so she, weird here. She comes running up, and she's got like um, some kind of fruit in her hand that she's picked. She's like smelling it. I think it's edible. She hands it to you, and she looks down, and she's like. Uh, I'll take a bite of it. She's like, uh, give me a perception check, Epi. Or a nature you check. You got it. Wh whichever you think y y it would be better. Okay. You want to look around or you want to like check the nature out and see if something's off? Because that's why he brought you up here. He thinks this is something to do with nature. He's pointing at the leaves on the ground. He's like, something's not right. Draco's going to be like, what's going on here, guys? Yeah, he's like, is that fruit? I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I had to hand him the fruit after I already took a bite. <laughs> oh, I don't care. I'll just pop it in my mouth. Just do you think the fruit could be sweeter if it was a little more riper, but it's not bad. It's like a unripe melon, kind of. So it's kind of moist. So she's like, she's like, wait, wait. Don't move there's a snare right here and she like brushes off some leaves and stuff <sighs> and uh, you can see that there's a rope that leads over to a tree and one of the branches has been bent over and laying underneath all of these leaves is a snare trap right in the middle of the trail wow that was close <laughs> and you can hear way off in the distance Somebody <laughs>, laughs. No, no, he doesn't. There's no goblin here. <laughs> That's what he's thinking Caesar when he set the trap. That's what he was thinking when he set the trap. He's like, <laughs> Caesar will poke it with a stick and trigger it. <laughs> All right, give me a. Uh, I'm going to give you advantage since you know it's here, but you like move over and you're like trying to set, I mean, where are you poking the net or the, the string or the tree or what are you poking? Yeah. The, the, the snare on the ground, like it's a, I'm assuming it's a rope on the ground that was covered with leaves. Yeah, pretty much. You, you haven't got the whole gist of it yet. She just pointed it out to you, but you, you go over with a it, stick and you start like poking at and, and see what's going on. And uh, it goes right. off. Whoop. And you're easily out of the way when it goes off. And it, f like, bundles whatever was up and the leaves and everything into a big ball and f pulls it off to the side of the road and it's dangling up in the air, just leaves falling out of it and a couple sticks, but nobody in it. Like, pretty high up in the ground, like 10, 12 feet off the ground, this thing is. <laughs> it's a pretty good trap. You're like, Whoa. And uh, as you guys look around, you can see a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of uh, footprints uh, all around the, you know, the outside of the trail. It looks like somebody had been working this for a little while, and there's still footprints around, uh, goblinoid-sized footprints. Does it but, yeah, the, the, they work this trail much. Does it look like somebody was dragged through here recently? Still, or uh, they... Not in this immediate area, but if you move a little further down the trail, you pick back up the path of of the goblins that are obviously dragging your friends or carrying your friends at some point. 
uh, up ahead. Uh, but this area has been kind of covered up, like, because of the trap, and the leaves, and a goblin moving back and forth, setting the trap up. But yeah, you can pick up their trail a little bit further along. Do you guys continue down the path uh, that's laid out ahead? Yeah, of you? well, yeah, and I'll be a little, a little bit more cautious now that I know they've laid, they've laid traps. So, I'm yeah. assuming there's going to be more. I'll so, collect acorns. Acorns. Uh, there, unfortunately, the acorns are, are there acorns? sparse right now, but you do, since you're, uh, up in the north, you do come across a, uh, a tree that is kind of odd up here, and it's a pecan tree. But since you're in the north, you call it a pecan tree. <laughs> okay, I'm That's gonna start way. picking up <laughs> pecans, pecans. <laughs> and collecting them. Way we can make them. and almond. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, pecans laying around, and you can make a pecan pie. I don't know. I don't know where you're from, but you can do it however you want. But as you're as you're uh, gathering those up and stuff, um, the ranger in the front is being careful. And uh, let's see if he can spot something going on here. Give me a uh, give me a perception check. With advantage or just a straight up? Uh, just a straight up, because uh, you don't know exactly where a trap is at. You're just you're more alert, but I, I lower the DC a 22. Uh, well, it was a 25, so you you didn't see it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> and you lowered it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I lowered it. It was a 30. This is a really good pit that's in the middle of the road. Uh, but These no, goblins it, are clever. There's like, there's like fresh covered dirt. And a matter of fact, you know what? There's... Some goblins come running out of the bushes as, uh, as we have another initiative round. <laughs> oh. uh, hold on there one second, and I'll push that roll to you. Uh, I don't have it coded over here. What's going on? I'm slacking. Uh, but that that one right there. Wow. I don't have my sound bars set up. Wow, look at all that. Um, these poor goblins. Where's the other one at? He's like, wait, wait, I'm behind, I'm behind. Uh, so we're just going to use the same map. Um, that we're on, and add a, a, these goblins like come running out. They they don't have their bows out because it's kind of heavily wooded here. They all have their scimitars out with their shields, and they, this is as far as they get to. They come running out, and in front of Caesar up here, there is a a pit like right up front here. That's kind of camouflaged a little bit. So what does Ada want to do? I am going to run to this one, the grateful, jaunty one, with my great axe and um, smack him. So you can run in order. Correct. He thought he had surprise on you. Jumps <laughs> out of the way of your great axe. And I'm pissed. And I, oh, I only had a small rest. Nope, so I'm I'm pissed, but I'm, I don't have enough steam for rage. So I think that's it for me. A rage is at a long, long rest? rest. Uh, yep. oh. All right, there's a little pit in the road over here. It's really like that. Epi! Yeah! I stuff my pecans back in my pocket <laughs> she's, she's and I pull out my sling. She's been like crunching on them back there. <laughs> Which one? And you? I'm going to go to king sized. Um, and I'm just going to immediately toss a, 
Iraq is where That's a miss as it tucks under it. He's like, Neh! and uh, you know what I'm going to do for you real quick? Since your character doesn't like fire. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Why is it always a bad thing? <laughs> She's terrified. Even the mention of it, man. <laughs> so she doesn't. Uh, so she wouldn't have had produced flame on her. Instead, she has magic stone. Ooh. She's like, wait. I don't know, produce flame, it's magic stone. Oh, I shouldn't have ate those mushrooms for breakfast this morning. <laughs> and Caesar, you're like, hey, there's a pit right here, and these goblins come running out. Kill him! Yeah, he's going <clears> to <throat> look at lousy nose bristles, and he's going to take a shot at him with his longbow and see if he can, can't hit him. He like, oh. he like throws his shield up. He's like, yeah, pop! It sticks right in his shield. And uh, as a free action, you could take a handful of uh, pecans. I'll do that and start chewing <laughs> on. Grace, great, grateful, John. He's grateful. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna hit you with my scimitar. <laughs> He starts swinging his scimitar around, and at like the third swipe, he stumbles forward and actually hits Ada with it. And he looks a little startled, um, and uh, and it doesn't sink in as far as it should, but it does slice into her pretty good. And she's like, if I was third level, I would rage again. I don't know what level you get to the next rage, but uh, uh, that's all he can do. He's going to kind of get in a square, though. He's like, let me get in a square over here. And you too. And intimidating stroll is going to come running down the out of the rest of the way out of the bushes. He's not, he doesn't even slow down. He just runs right up to the biggest guy and tries to, you know, he walks up with an intimidating stroll. He's like, hey, hey, I'm a goblin, and I'm getting... He takes his scimitar and swipes it, and, like, hits, like, all confidently, just hits Draco with his scimitar, slashing open his thighs. He's like, hey. He says something in Goblinoid. Uh, if you speak Goblinoid, it's... Nanner, nanner, nanner. Uh... King sized is he's like looks at the uh, you know looks back at the stone that went flying over his head and he's like if that was magic he would have hit me and he comes running down the hill and uh, tries to swipe his scimitar at Epa swiping at her as he lunges and she throws her shield up I didn't know you had a shield <laughs> bounces off your wood shield. <laughs> And that's all he can do. Lousy nose bristles. Lousy nose bristles. She's like, he goes right off. <laughs> I'm going to breathe all this nose here. Uh, oh, he can. Is it 30? Oh, they got 30 feet. He comes running up too. And uh, he's taking a swipe with his. Uh, and he's like, he misses. He's like, hmm. Huh. You know, if the DM would read the stat block, he would know I can use a bonus action to disengage or hide. Yeah, I can't do any of that right now with that guy. But anyways, a nimble escape doesn't allow you to uh, have extra movement. It just gives you dis does a disengage. Uh, Bell... <laughs> She's like, I'm going to load one of their arrows in the boat this time. You know, add a little insult to injury. It's all crooked and, and the end's all rusty. Yeah. I have more arrows, fools. Seriously. <laughs> arrows, <Just> flying so. <laughs> off. The feather, one of the flights fly off the back of it as you shoot it. You're like, crap. It didn't work. Goblin Drink arrows. It. Draco turns around and looks down at this that goblin. He's like, hey, hey. Yeah, oh. so Draco uh, sees oh. these two right next to him. And just as you start to uh, 
do something. S M H New York in uh, chat randomly teleports your character onto the battle map somewhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so let's see which direction you go. Uh, you go straight north. Uh, eight squares. So you're like up here in this tree over here, like. <laughs> You're like okay the uh, goblin's like Heh. and he looks down at the scimitar and he looks up at you and he shrugs <laughs> okay uh yeah well that's uh draco's like looking around like what what, what? so you're like How? 10 feet off the ground up on a branch you're like what the hell yeah like what? It, didn't How did this you, it didn't cost you any movement though so you still have your full move if you want to just do some kind of leap back out of the tree or <sighs> yeah um let me uh uh jump kind of back springy too yeah Great. i'll jump back down uh and can i move right there yeah, give me uh, acrobat or athletics. Let's see how well right. I, I think you're going to be very successful. But uh, right. we let the die determine. Uh, 14 is excellent. Yeah, you have no problem. You just kind of do a quick flip in the air, too, as you land. <laughs> right All right. Next, right next to this goblin. Fancy. He's like, show off. <laughs> oh, you, you and, he, and he smiles. Draco smiles and says, you have not seen anything yet. Uh, I'm going to use uh, my breath weapon on the two goblins to my south there. And your breath weapon is fire? It is uh, cold. Oh, okay, damage. so Epi doesn't run off into the woods screaming. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. She, she kind of applauds when freaking icicles shoot out of your mouth. She's like, yay, cold. All right. Let's see if, uh, let's see if this is good. Uh, is it coated? Uh it doesn't look like it's coated. What kind of slacken breath weapon? Breath weapon, maybe? Yeah, I got it here in actions. I uh, hit the save. They have Dra to do it. Dragon's breath? No, dragon's yeah. breath weapon. Uh, oh, I'm using breath weapon. Yep. And there's nothing for attack or save. And that's on your actions oh, yeah it's 2d6 edit uh, so that would be hold on let me set that up for you real quick that needs to be cold yep but the, yeah so i click on it in the save but there's nothing that's coming up in the save for them to to do the save what is the ability uh it con? is it is uh it is a uh dc for this saving throw is eight plus your con uh, plus proficiency bonus. Uh, so, hold on. Clicking the buttons to get to con again. Yep. Con plus your proficiency bonus. Oh, why isn't it? Oh, it's con. There it is. It's an 11. There it is. Okay. Right, there you go. All right. There we go. All right. Let's see if they can save. One of them does. All right. Well, they're going to take this. <laughs> so one of them, like, turns into, like, a popsicle, like... And the other one, like, kind of jumped behind him a little bit. You know, kind of used him as a shield. He's like, meh! Throws him up. Then he frozes and falls back down. And, uh, yeah, and Draco uh, just, just uh, gives a wink and passes his turn. Top of the round is your turn again. Oh, okay. Drink it up again. <laughs> All right. So I... you take another breath, yeah. and it's minty, yeah. spearmint, fresh feel, you know, because you just, you know, it's like. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I only get that once, but uh, I will uh, then turn to the uh, goblin next to me there. Uh, and that, that, and uh, I take out my battle axe and, and say, uh, Today is going to be a bad day for you, friend. And He's like, me? Friend? Is you, is he oh! His shield up. And oh! Be like, and... knock him down to the ground a little bit. He's like, yeah! 
And I don't think I got any bonus action, so that will be it. Unless you wanted to move, that's the only other thing I could suggest. Nope, I'm good. Lousy nose bristle. He's like, hey, you got icicles on me. And he comes charging forward again with his scimitar, swinging it wildly at Draco. As you throw your shield up and you block it. Ping! Bell, this guy just runs right in front of your path again. It's like a bowling alley. No gutter balls. <laughs> And unfortunately, I accidentally hit a wrong button and closed it, so I'm just now coming back into the game. All right, so you want to okay. shoot your short bow at this guy? I can handle it for you. Yes, shoot my So short you fire your short bow at lousy nose bristles that's running up on Draco. And uh, unfortunately, the team is not as good as you are, and uh, it bounces <laughs> off of his armor. He's like, hey, that was close. I quit using their arrows. They're just not as as good. <laughs> I know the, this one. This one, the uh, when you pull it back, the whole end of it comes off, and you're trying to put it back on. You're like, oh, and then it goes <laughs> psh, fires. Uh, Graceful jaunt does a like a little tumble roll and comes moving around like hey, hey and he's swiping at your feet, Ada, with the scimitar. He's like, psh, 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 and you're like trying to hop over his feet. And uh, and as you like slip on a rock, he like jabs his scimitar right down on the top of your foot. He's like, ha, ha, and he looks up at you and he smiles as you both realize that he just did maximum damage to your foot. Oh. You like you like look down and it's all the way down into the ground. The scimitar is and your foot's between it. He's like, ha, ha. it's your turn. <laughs> All right, so I am going to, I want to hit him with my great axe. I have a couple potions. You like, yeah. you look down at the, that your severely wounded foot and you're like, I could kill this guy, bleed out, or I could drink a potion. <laughs> now, I don't think you actually have any potions. Those are just coded on your sheet in case chat right. gives you a potion. I don't think I have any potions. Unless there's one in your inventory. There no. is not. So unfortunately, I'm first hit level, it. yeah, unfortunately, first level characters don't come with potions of healing. I like pat my pockets. I'm like, <laughs> like, you're like, if only I had a couple of <laughs> pecans, I could heal myself right now. In the meantime, let me see if I can hit you. No, because I'm injured. <laughs> you're like, yeah, you're, you're. you're <laughs> what's the goblin yelling? <laughs> yeah. You like, you, you like go to swing at him and you you pull your foot free out of the out of the ground and the scimitar and uh you're like ow, 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 and you realize suddenly it's your your foot is just severely wounded and it just throws you off on your swing and you totally miss uh but uh but happy there's two potions in the chat oh I can you, you can take mine you. away i didn't see that first one so SMH New York just gave a potion of heal. I'm assuming to add a. Is that is that what uh, was the potion? Yeah, it was. For? Yeah, it was 2:42, and mine was at 2:56. So I didn't see his. Well, it's, uh, well, one potion may not be enough. Well, if she needs two, then she can have mine too. Uh, do you want me to drop that on you for you, Ada, from chat? Yes, please. I don't know. All right. So the first potion, when you look down. Uh, do you, there's something leaking out of your pouch and uh, it spills into it your is. wound and gives you eight healing back. Wow. And, uh, Thank you very much. I think since Caesar spent the coinage, you, you get the other one too. As, uh, as you're fully healed, whatever was in your pouch leaked down onto you and you're like, whoa, maybe I did have a potion. <laughs> I, I look up and say, thank you. The the goblin looks down at your foot, looks at his scimitar, and he's like, hey, I don't know. Did you want to move or anything? Uh, I, like, um, move towards him. Well, he's pretty much in his like, face already. I like, I like he's just growl in his face. Oh. Like, exactly. His little ears wiggle as you growl into his face. He's like, ah. 
practice my battle rage, my battle call that I'll get eventually. Well, let's see what it sounds like. Let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. It sounds like that didn't work. I thought the rage was going to work. Did we... <laughs> King size no. is swiping at. Uh... Uh, they don't have like pack tactics or anything, but I think he's gonna turn and like look at this druid and he like sees her holding a handful of pecans and he's like, my nuts, yeah, and he swipes his scimitar like at her hand trying to smack him out, and she just moves her hand out of the way. He's like, meh. He's like, jumps between you guys. My pecans, Caesar. I think Caesar's going to um, let me move. I'm going to move here and try to grapple King Size. Just like grab him. Yeah, because I want to try to drag him and throw him into the pit. <laughs> uh, so he's not going to let you. So you're going to have to do an athletics uh, check against his. Uh... Which whatever he whatever he decides is better for him probably dexterity let's see uh yeah yeah since his strength is an eight so you like oh, you go God. to grab him and uh and he jumps out of the way he's like yeah yeah my big all right um I seen a Caesar's turn in pretty much. Lousy nose bristles. Hey, we're yeah. at three o'clock. I know uh, we said three. Do you guys want to finish this combat? Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm yeah. good. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you Let's... guys have. I don't have anything to do immediately, so we're good. Yay! Lousy nose Yay. bristle. You, you like hit him right in the nose as he turns around. He's got like a mustache hanging out of his nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> The the not the nose hairs just kind of like fly up in the air and kind of stick to Draco's armor. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> a little bit of snot going on it. Did you want to move up or anything? Or you, you pretty much got oh, the spot worn no, out. No, I like know. snake in one spot. Matter of fact, I think you're just gonna move. lean back against this rock a little and get comfortable. You're like yeah. this is a good spot. Comfortable Atta. just shoot him. He's, he's this I guy's all looking at his hit. scimitar. He's got your blood all over it. He's like, Wah. yeah, I'm going to smash him. Oh, oh, he jumps. Not. He jumps out of the way. <laughs> Crappiest roll. I don't think I can do. I don't think I have any bonus. They killed twelve of them in like. No time, and now, now you guys are going to start missing. And I'm going to kill the whole party on the, the 16th goblin. Grateful Jaunt, he's like, Meh. he looks at your other foot, and he's like, uh -huh. and he takes the scimitar and he tries to stab you in the other foot with it. He's like, Meh. and you just like pick up your foot and you dodge out of the way. He's like, Meh. Caesar. He's like, Caesar's determined to throw this goblin in the pit. <laughs> Do you have advanced? Do you have uh, inspiration? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, let me use my inspiration. Oh, I should have no. done yeah. inspiration. I'll let you. I'll let you re-roll it. There you go. So, so all right. Uh, so you like you you slip a little right with your first one and and uh, somebody yells out, "You can do it!" It gives you inspiration enough that you grab a hold of his leg. Right. Let me see if he slips his. Slips his uh, his leg out of your grip. Uh, no, so you got all of his leg, and uh, he is grappled now, so his movement is zero, and you got him by the leg. And I want to move over here, drag him over here, and <laughs> toss him in the pit. Just pick him up by his leg. Give me an athletics check. It's what's your strength, anyways? Let me see what your strength is. A twelve. To 12. Uh, what does that give you for? He probably weighs of what? 50 pounds wet plus his gear. Yeah, you can easily pick him up. <laughs> so you grab him by his leg. He falls on the ground and you pick him up and you just kind of fling him towards the edge of the pit. He like scrambling in the air, trying to make some last ditch freaking dexterity 
check, save, to keep from falling in, and goes thud, poof, and you chuck him right into the pit. Um, shit, I, I closed the pit. Where's the pit at? Let's see what the pit does. Yay! Pit trap. He didn't make his dexterity check, so he falls in the pit. And uh, you can hear, like, bones crack as he lands in the bottom of the pit. <laughs> He's like, my neck! Ouch! 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 As he takes six points of falling damage. And, uh, and he is prone down in there. Um, let me drop prone on him just in case somebody's trying to shoot at him the pit well, caesar's gonna yell i tossed him in the pit we can interrogate him later <laughs> anything else nope that's it all right if if we shoot at him we gotta remember he's got prone on him. i didn't drop it on him draco all right i'm going to uh bonus action uh just do my second win get a little bit Get topped off there. Oh, thank you, and Caesar. I got him. And uh, I'll go over there and uh, attack him with my battle axe. And I think uh, he also does the 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 trying his battle rage to this guy's face again. Or two as he moves up behind him. Oh yeah, uh, it's, it's the it's, second wind is. And here we go. He's <laughs> just, just battle axis goblin in the back. He just dies. Slice him from head to toe. You see his little spirit go and fly away. As you guys have defeated 16 goblins today. Unbelievable. 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 We are and, the goblin and, uh, killers. I think that's it for uh, for today. Awesome. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah that thank was you. fun. I had a good time. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I made a slideshow for Dave, and uh, we're going to play it for a moment here while we chat for a second uh, for the stream and everything. But uh, this is uh, uh, Dave uh, Middleton's um, life as, uh, as some pictures that were sent to me, and I made a little slideshow. So... If you haven't seen it and you're, you can hear my voice, uh, I'm going to play it on the stream right now. And uh, if you're in chat and you want to look at the stream too, you're more than welcome. Uh, so here it goes. <laughs> had the glorious beard then. Yeah, I know. I kind of put the pictures in order so his beard goes away towards the end. Of it. He had the glorious beard then. Not my fault. It really is it. Tell me about morning, it. Morning, got eggs in it. And you got. <laughs> this is a picture, Dan. Like, why did I have I eggs? Three days ago. There you are. 
ஸ்பெஷல் பண்ணுறோம் Marvania did all this music. This is Three Fat Fellows from Fan Delver. The name of the song. fun to make that was good there it is. that was good i hope you guys had a good time uh, i love that encounter i'm surprised you guys did so well i mean that was that was, that was a pretty good fight yeah so, we almost uh, made it look easy i know right which guess, that is not easy that's no, like that's, well i mean if they surprise which yeah. i could have done that would have might have turned the tide a little bit but i mean that's hard for goblins to surprise realistically we had a couple cheaters yeah the the chat always uh, you have to uh thanks del gore i appreciate it um all you guys out in chat i appreciate we're gonna we're gonna go see if there's somebody we need to raid uh is there anybody running i think uh um <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anybody. Jenkin is streaming Dungeons and Dragons. The Zero King is streaming Fantasy Grounds, and Fantasy Grounds Academy is probably doing a rerun. I don't know. Let's do the Zero King, since he's in the Fantasy Grounds channel, streaming Fantasy Grounds. So hey, I appreciate everybody out there in chat watching and hanging out and and giving some chat love and earning some chat points. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to get out of here and enjoy the rest of our Sunday. Thank you. And uh, and uh, if you want to donate to Dave Middleton's um, uh, blah, American, American Heart, Heart Association, Association. Um, <laughs> we'll post a link in chat real quick for you. Um, I think I, I think I have it. No, I don't. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll get that out to you. But uh, American Heart Association, if you want to post in Dave Middleton's name, it's on, uh, it's on, uh, it'll be in chat here in a moment. But we're going to go raid uh, Zero King. Uh, so if you're in chat, stick around a little bit and get some Fantasy Grounds love. Uh, but thank you, and we'll we'll talk to you guys later. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye, Thanks. everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. bye. <laughs> Bye. Good job, players. I appreciate it. Uh, we got three, two.